Hi, I'm Dr. Sanjay as a plastic surgeon at Thunder Bay in Ontario, Canada. Uh, this series called Surgery Basics is for educational purposes. I wish to thank uh, Nicholas Nucci and Miranda Waugh who have been instrumental in creating this series. Uh, this video is about the basic instruments uh, uh, you would use uh, uh, for suturing. So as you can see, this is the a tooth adsense forceps. Uh, this instrument typically is held with three fingers um, holding one side and the thumb. So this will give you the ability to hold and, uh, and grasp tissues. The other instrument is the needle driver. And how do you hold the needle driver? You hold it typically for a right-handed person, you would pass it through the thumb and then the ring finger. And then your index finger is used as, uh, as uh, oh, on the box of the instrument to be able to move with your wrist and support the longer instrument. So that's the way you hold a needle driver and the, the forceps. So whenever you're holding a needle, this is a, a needle with a swedge, you want to hold the needle properly, typically two third the distance from the needle tip uh, for, from the swedge or even in surface surgery like plastic surgery, you can even hold it half and half. And you can see I'm holding the needle right from the tip of the instrument. So this gives me the ability to go through more surface structures. And that's the way you hold it and that's the way you pass it using your wrist. For the, well, for the scissors, you again, you'd pass it through your ring finger and your thumb, and then, you know, you can cut using uh, some support from your opposite hand and come close to the suture and then cut. So that gives you full control of the uh, suture being cut either just above the knot if you want to bury it or slightly higher up, then you can go to the field and you can avoid your hands from moving too much. It's very important to understand how to dispose a needle because uh, this is for safety of yourself, the patient and your staff. So what you do in this situation is you have finished your suturing and you have done the job. Then what you're going to do is turn the instrument over. You've got your gloved hands and you're going to hold the needle from just, up, just below the swedge and make sure that the needle tip is sitting against the instrument. So now the needle has been held and secured and it is not going to hurt anybody. And you can pass this to the scrub nurse or alternatively, you can put it into a kidney basin and the nurse can take it across uh, to the cot. Thank you for watching this uh, video. Uh, in this series, we have uh, uh, a lot of other videos to help you in improving your surgical skills.